right? Okay, ahi ahi māori tato. Uh, welcome into this AIG Creating Connections. Uh, we're joined with uh, three legends of our Black Ferns uh, sitting in a hotel room where, team? In the beautiful mountain room, but you know, it's beautiful. Oh, love it, love it. Good work. And you've uh, gathered around a, a computer to answer some questions today. So we're going to get some questions and we're also going to potentially do a little bit of dancing. <laughs> I won't lie, I had to Google TikTok um, before this, so I feel like if you're going to teach me a TikTok, then yeah, this is going to take some serious editing uh, and post, uh, post cut. So um, perhaps first team, if we could introduce ourselves, I'm Alex Ness, I'm from uh, NZR, and uh, I'll, I'll pass to you maybe in a row to introduce yourselves, but feel free to tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, um, where your Tūranga Waiwai is, and uh, what posi you're playing. And maybe just finish off with uh, how you're feeling about heading away on tour. Nice one. Thanks, team. Um, and uh, this journey that you're about to go on, this trip, trip of a lifetime, perhaps, Northern Tour. Uh, tell us how you're feeling, Stacey. How are you feeling about this tour? The smile says it all, Fano. So happy, excited. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't actually played this stage for the Black Fans in three years. So it's been a while, um, but it's good to come in today, connect with everyone, these two awesome players. And our sisters of mine. Uh, but yeah, really, really excited. I can't wait to go and play in the cold in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> nice, nice. And Stacey, uh, in 15s, what posse do you play normally? Uh, usually centre, not 13s. So, so, so th there would be quite a big difference between 7s and the 15s. Do you, what's the biggest thing that you notice? Space. Yeah. <laughs> yes, space. <laughs> So trying to create more opportunities for what insides, outsides, obviously seven, you see a lot of it and you just run. Um, but I feel like in 15s, just trying to create more space for outsides. Nice, nice. And Dice, you're a, a big, tough, bustling blind side, uh, <laughs> loose board. Tell us, um, what are you most looking forward to uh, about this upcoming tour? Um, well, so this will be the first time playing in the 15s team. So I'm, I guess I'm just looking forward to, you know, creating connections and more memories of everyone um, and just, you know, staying present and um, taking in all, every opportunity that comes in. Yeah, um, at the same time, I'm nervous, but yeah, excited. Awesome. And Takura, uh, with respect, you've been around a little longer in this Black Ferns environment and you are uh, the most graceful of positions. <clears throat> the front row, I played there myself at one point. Uh, can you tell us what you're looking forward to most about heading away or or maybe how you're feeling about heading away? Um, I think the, I'm most excited about playing against another country. We haven't played against anyone for like the last two years, so to be able to play against England and France again, and yeah, we lost against France last time, so that is what I'm most excited for is the big thing. Yes. Yeah. Love it, love it. So it's about it's about a little bit of redemption, maybe. Is that how yeah. people are feeling in camp? Very much. Our coach had a big talk with us um, this morning. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit of fire in the belly for us heading over. Mean, mean. Well, hold on to it for a, a little bit longer. Probably not good to get on a plane with fire in your belly. Um, <laughs> nice one. Okay, cool. So um, also really interested, I guess, on... Um, on tours like this, how do you guys stay together as a team? Like what, what keeps the Black Ferns, we hear a lot about the culture, but what, what keeps the Black Ferns connected and together? Um, a lot of beautiful water. You know, they still can sing, they got great voices. <laughs> Love listening to them. Um, but yeah, just, just like connecting off the field and actually interacting with one another and learning because we, we don't um, tend to see these people very often. So it's going out there and meeting everyone, greeting them, and, and just having fun along the way. So that, that, I don't know, that, that's what I think in this team is we, we've got a good connection um, with everyone. Such a big squad, how many? 34 yeah. travelling. So yeah, just connecting yeah. with everyone. 
yeah. in all my interactions with the Black Ferns, it's always seems to be about Fananga Tanga. It seems to be about that connection, eh? So that's that's pretty cool to hear. Um, another cool thing is that we've got a Rugby World Cup coming in 2022. Uh, I know that's a wee way off and you've got a few games to, to think about, but are, are, you, are you thinking about that in the future? Is there something about 2022 and this, and this Rugby World Cup in, in Aotearoa that gets you excited or has you focusing on the future? Yeah, definitely. I think like the opportunity to perform in front of our whanau um, is, is a big one. Um, we know that we've, they've been following us for a long time and working, I guess, have to wake up early in the morning because our games are going to be 3 a.m. over there. And it'll be good to just be home and then not have to wake up that, that early in the morning to watch us. So, yeah, I think that's something exciting. Nice. So they won't have to sacrifice, but you'll get to treat them. I love it. What about what about you, Dice? Um, what's the most exciting thing about playing in Aotearoa and, and hosting a Rugby World Cup here for you? Yeah, I think it'll be, uh, like Sam was PK, just um, being able to perform in front of our families. Um, I haven't put on the black jersey and I haven't had family watch me. So I think it'll be special, a very special moment of like, you know, to get to put on the jersey and um, to know that our family is watching. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, I, I imagine, Stacey, you've done a fair bit of travelling of late. Um, uh, are, the, are the team asking for some advice about travelling during these times? <laughs> I feel like we've got great um, preparation in our management. So, yeah, it's not too bad. We all know what it is. Uh, it's COVID, we hate talking about it, but it is here. Um, so it's all about embracing what's around, wearing masks, sanitising, following each country's rules, and then as long as we're safe, happy and well, then we place on good footing. Hey, I think they might need to get you on those one o'clock uh, COVID updates. <laughs> <that> sort of. Uh, <laughs> we could do with some balance, mate. Maybe some different people on the screens. <laughs> okay, team. Um, I am. I guess people will be a little bit interested in uh, hearing about your. I'm a bit nervous because I feel like I'm going to have to dance here, and I don't know if you've noticed, but this is not necessarily what you'd normally see on TikTok. I imagine <laughs> early forties man uh, trying to dance. But I was hoping maybe you might um, at some point during this uh, conversation teach me a TikTok. But before we do that, I'm, I'm keen to hear a little bit of the. The fucker papa of the TikTok that you are going to tell me about, like what's the history of it? Where does it come from? Um, TK, are you happy to share that? Takuda? Yes. So we went to San Diego. I think it was 2019, and Elena Saili brought us a TikTok in the team, um, composed by choreographer. <laughs> Choreo. <laughs> by this um, social media. Legion Den Den, or AK Hey It's Den Den. Um, and yeah, she taught us it and we caught it on Insta and it ended up blowing up. So we're going to, I guess, reincarnate that for oh, you today. Live in front of our faces. How amazing. Okay. <laughs> king, King. Uh, now, Dice, you, this is, uh, I'm bringing you into the conversation now because you and I visited some schools uh, last week. And there was one moment where we had to fill up a little bit of time and the kids suggested that we should have a dance off. And I got up and did probably what you'd imagine a dad does at the end of a wedding. Um, the robot, there was some pretty terrible dancing like I was, but the kids were loving it. And then, this is the funny thing, I throw to you and you don't dance. You <laughs> leave me hanging out there. And I just want to know, is there anything you want to say? Maybe some apologies or like, have you been, has it been consuming you the way it's been consuming me? Um, yeah, no, I think you should apologise to me in the school for laughing like that. <laughs> brutal, brutal. Okay, well, this is, this is my chance. Thank you, Dice. I appreciate that. That is um, true. It's true words. And uh, yeah, we appreciate your honesty. Um, so... With all of that said, team, I'm keen to um, to see your honey, honey. Um, would you would you be keen to maybe get some room there on screen? Maybe get yourselves into a good yes. position, and then um, and take it slow. Take it very slow, I would say. Here we go. Just follow us, please. I'll, I'll watch first. I think. I think that's probably wise. I'll just get a sense of the moves, how much room I might need. Here we go. 
fantastic i um i saw it it's all gone in here and out here so i'm gonna to need to see it again um Pat, Thanks, I'm I'm i'll try and mirror you okay okay right this is quite embarrassing <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you feeling it? Did you did you notice my performance? Yeah, I think you did really well. Mm -hmm. It's not all about me. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, I hope... jiggle at the start. <laughs> What's that? Especially your jiggle at the start. The jiggle. Well, you were jiggling, and so I thought I should jiggle. Is that not? <laughs> to be honest, sometimes I jiggle when I don't even mean to. This is just all of this. So, um, reckon uh, one more, one more crack. Can we have one more little view, and then we might have some more questions. I reckon there might be some questions about this from me to you. Amazing. So dance, dance is a really important part about being part of it. like I know that I've got a few issues with making the Black Ferns anyway, but I feel like dancing is just another box that I don't tick. Um, but that was amazing. I feel like that's going to be a really cool thing to watch as you travel around uh, Europe and, uh, and and also as you gear up for the for the um, for the World Cup in 2022. I wonder if we were talking to some of your people out there. There might be some young young Wahine watching, thinking about uh, thinking about what rugby might give them. Like it's not all about dancing. I've been watching the highlights of yesterday's uh, finals. It's about code. There's some um, some really good rugby being played in the women's game. Can you tell us what would you encourage young women who might be sitting on the fence or thinking about playing rugby or thinking about continuing on with rugby? Give us one reason why they should stick at it and stay involved. Maybe I'll start with you, Stacey, and then we'll move to, to Kura. One reason. There's hundreds of reasons. That's really good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> can name a lot of things. I'm not going to argue with you. As many as you like. If I have two, one. Oh, can I say three? Sorry. I'm just feeling all the answers here. <laughs> First three. of all, um, rugby gives you so many opportunities in life. Like many, many opportunities. So obviously it gets travel the world. That's one. You don't, there's not many jobs where you go and see the world and, you know, mix against other cultures. Absolutely love it. Two, get to make cool friends. Um, you, you meet so many people, our teammates, they're the coolest, you know, get to do some dancing and singing and whatnot. And number three, it's just the game itself is so amazing and, and it helps you not just be a good rugby player, but a good person. So you, you learn all these different traits um, whether you're a leader in the team, whether you're new, whether you're older and experienced, you, you just get so much benefits and gains from it. So, yeah, those are just three for me, but there's so many. I love that last one. I've got three daughters and I'm often, uh, I, I always say it was, it was sport was important when I was growing up, but it's almost more important now with all the other options that there are. Sport is the great life lesson. So that's a really cool one. Stacey, I love that. Takura, you're a teacher. You probably deal with a lot of, a lot of young women who are, uh, who are uh, at that stage of their life where they'll be contemplating what sport to focus on. Why stay in rugby? What's the thing? Hmm. Just like the three that she said, those are probably my one of three of my main reasons. 
um, especially from, I guess, teaching up in a rural area, um, for them to see past the mga mukas, which is the maunga there, <laughs> and to see what, um, I guess, further, I mean, where you can travel to with rugby and the, the I guess, the young girls and students at school, they're really, really um, excited about um, rugby just for that where all the places that I've been to and all the people that I've met, they want to do the same. So, yeah, definitely the opportunities. Um, but, yeah, I always tell the students as well is that um, never to lose themselves and be proud of where they where they come from. Um, definitely different make, around all to these different makes and very unique and skillful wahine in the motu, for example, Wellingtonians. <laughs> As you can see, she's very strong. So they put the strong type of players from, from Wellington. We have Waikato here. They're the smart, um, <laughs> bubbly kind. Um, and yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's so important eh, to um, be proud of who you are and represent your whanau and never forget that. Hard out, hard out. And Dice, you travelled around a few schools the other day with me, so you went back to your to your place where you grew up. Um, what, what was what was special about going into your old kura, your old school, uh, and talking to the young women there who are in the same seats that you're in? Yeah, um, I guess being there and hearing the questions that they were asking, it reminded me of when I was back in school and I had the exact same questions. So I guess like going back just meant a lot to, you know, give back to them and um, share a little bit of my knowledge that I have now. So um, little things like, the growth that I've had off the field as well as on the field has, um, yeah, I give all that credit back to rugby because I wouldn't have learned, you know, about mental health and nutrition without, you know, being in this program. So um, sharing my knowledge on that with um, those girls just, you know, it meant so much to me because, yeah, they are the future. Was a type before you've even left, finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> I worry you're going to come back as like just one big person. Um, yeah, I can see that they loved hearing from you too, Dice, and the um, and the certainly the the children and the audience and the young people in the audience were um were pretty uh, stoked to have you there. Um, and I can see why, like awesome, awesome uh, people that you are, super humble and um, representing us with pride. Now back to the dance, the TikTok. We want to see it one more time, and this and. Make this a real good one, and I reckon you should share this on your socials later, you all. I'll share mine to my three followers. Um, but I'd love to see your TikTok one more time, if I can, um, and then we might finish up with one last question, and then we'll we'll be done. So uh, nice and loud. Best one, best one you can do, and then I'll finish off with one last question, which relates to my background. Uh, that is special, um, especially my dancing. Um, I won't lie, I don't think I'll ever watch this. This is painful for me. Um, but you guys looked amazing, to clarify. Uh, now, before we finish, if you can see up in my top right-hand corner there, it says, take time to call it all. This is the last day of Mental Health Awareness Week. And um, that's it's a big week for all of us. It's a big thing for all of us, everyone on this planet. Uh, not just our athletes, but um, everyone uh, has, has mental health and wealth. So I'm keen, maybe if it's okay, a little bit of a deep finish, but something uh, that you have that's a, a tip that works for you to keep yourself balanced, to keep your whole order um, on, on, um, on par or to keep yourself well. If there's one tip, so if there's some uh, young people or not so young people watching that are keen to learn a little bit from what you've learned in your journeys, um, they, they might pick something up. So maybe I'll just go whenever you want to go. I'm not going to put any pressure on you if you don't have anything that's all Katie Pye. Um, but yeah, who wants to share first? I've got three things. So my first thing I love to do um, to help my mental health is um, karakia. Um, second thing is 
So I'm writing down everything I'm thinking. So that's just downloading, um, looking at it, acknowledging it, shutting it, and then on to the next time I feel happy um, to do so. And my last thing is um, I love to take my my kuri or puppies and dog through the forest. I love walking in the nature and um, yeah, that's, that's another time where I, I guess, um, give my metau, ta hiningaro a um, bit of exercise. Yeah, the healing properties of the nahiri, the healing <laughs> properties of nature, uh, writing yeah, things yeah. down, love it, love it. Stacey, what about you? What's what's one or two things that, that works for you? Yeah, I've got a couple of things. Um, my first one is self-care. I feel like we all live in this busy world. Um, we all go through our own challenges and obstacles along the way, and we commit to all these things, but sometimes we forget about our own holder, our own um, well-being. So I like to take the time away from people. I love people, and I love hanging out with people, but, you know, you've just got to recharge those batteries somehow. So self-care is important to me, and some of the things I do with that is getting my nails done. love going for a little pedicure, manicure. Um, I love a massage. You know, gotta relax those muscles somehow. Um, and I also like to go do facials, but anything that's to do with going away, treating myself by myself, I think it's real cool to just just connect and, and chill out and relax a bit. Because me, I, I'm definitely a busy bee. I, I take on so many things, but I love it. I do, and that's why I do it. Uh, I just know that my process is to just take time away, relax space, because you can't do it all. But my other biggest thing is um, so I like time to myself, but I also like talking to people. So I have certain people that I go to to talk about my, I wouldn't say problems, I would just say things that are on my mind. Um, think whatever I'm thinking, if I'm overloading up here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go talk to her about this, or I'm going to go talk to him about this. So knowing who my, my circle of people are, who I can trust and that I respect um, to talk to me. Sometimes too, it's not about getting feedback, it's just unloading. Like Tika, she writes it down in a journal. For me, I like to let it all out because I'm a talkative person. <laughs> That's me. It's beautiful. Thank you. And I, I love the idea of looking at filling your own cup up before you try and mm. fill up others, eh? Choice. And Dice, what about you? What's the what's the trick to your well-being? Mine's um, a mix of DK and Stacey. So I like to um, go on beach walks and listen to music. Um, I offload, like, kind of self-talk, but, you know, let it out to the ocean and stuff. Um, also, with Stacey, I, I like to talk about it. So... Um, you know, I like to acknowledge my feelings um, and just allow myself to feel those emotions and then I like to, um, you know, talk about it, whether it's to my sister or just like to um, offload to, you know, people that I trust as well. So, cool. That was tops, you guys. You did a great job. And um, I've just got to make you make a commitment now that I see not only do you look after yourselves the way you're just going to say that you were or you're on tour, but also a commitment to make sure that we see that TikTok from you and the rest of your uh, 34 strong uh, touring team as you travel north um, into the north no, northern tour, sorry. Um, yeah, keen to see that out in action. So um, if you want to share it with us at any point, and I'll be doing mine at home, trust me, I'll be failing at that. Um, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm good at other things. Uh, Thank you so much for your time uh, time today. I know that you've got probably a lot to get done before you head up on that aeroplane and head away from us all, but we want to wish you all the very best for your tour. Um, look after yourselves. Um, you always do us super proud. I know you will, um, no matter what happens while you're away. So um, take care, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you on your return. And any final words from you? Keep safe and healthy, Mask up. Mask up. <laughs> Kaki te. Kaki te.